Because you're originally from Chicago, so oh, yeah. that's I did I didn't know that. I I do the hey friend thing and things like that, but I don't know. We don't really have a. I don't know if we have a colloquialism like that, John, around where we're from. Say cousin or anything like. We're not that interesting. Well, I don't know. Thing. I'm just thinking Germans. What do Germans call each other? I don't know. If I know. We have really, uh, we're all the Germans like from that. Russia. We've all had our, our yeah. heads down and we're farming and we're too busy to have fun things sure. like that. If, if you hear somebody say hey behind you aggressively loud, that's more or less where we're from. Yeah. So. I think Germans use the term Deutsch bag, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if we usually said it around I don't know here. If they but... Do, but for some, it's definitely appropriate. Are we recording? I have my... We're recording. I have my liquid death with me. Anyway, we do kind of like f- free flow right into our little intro. I'm right. Haley. And I'm Johnny. And this is Jell. I am the Jell. And this <laughs> is Johnny. Johnny. Haley. Haley. Jell. Jell. Day, Day of, of fun. fun. Welcome to uh you, I think you're our second guest. Aisha's been on with us, so like uh we're yep. having we're getting a little groovy and having some people join us and have a good time. For sure. So, Jell, uh yes. tell us just a little bit about you, uh, because you're a comedian, you're right. Tell us, give us a little rundown. Well, first I'm gonna give a pl- I, I gotta do a plug here real quick. Uh media pub dot live. Oh yeah, you do that. The, there's a lot of MMA fighting and stuff you got on there. Well, we're a uh, we're we're an online satire website. A uh, like, lot, lot of funny stuff. Like the Onion. Remember, I don't know if we're that's a thing anymore. We're nothing like the Onion. We're better than the Onion. Okay. The, because our our motto is, we don't write an article that will take you longer to read than the average crap. So you can, that's fair. You know, it, it it's perfect. You know, when it, it's perfect. People have shorter t- uh, attention spans now. You know, with TikTok and all that. So you gotta oh, yeah. you gotta be quick quick witted with stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. So mediapub dot live. If you haven't taken a look at it, take a look at it. We got a lot of great writers on there. Uh, we got a lo- we got a huge following, and we're, we're very very new. I like it. I would like, I, you know, I'd love to write for you. Johnny and I have been looking to uh, maybe write and do a little kind of fun. Just I, I, cause I write a fictional podcast and Johnny's had some ideas and stuff. I have a fun idea for a yeah. uh, horror movie. Yeah. What's up, Ooh. Johnny? Awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just more of a musician. I just thought about maybe exploring how writing would be writing a few short stories or something. I don't know. Just whatever. But, comes yeah. To mind. But- Funny stuff might be maybe more up your alley a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. When we're all done with this, I'll, I'll I'll get you the uh the right stuff because we'd love to get some stuff from you guys. Oh, that'd be super yeah. cool. I yeah, that'd it. be way cool. That'd be yeah, way cool. For sure. So okay. again, so mediapub dot live. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Wait, You'll love it. We'll, Great stuff. We'll put on. a we'll put a link in the description below. I'll ask you to send me all your links and stuff so we can share Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, but more important question that needs to be asked. Have you ever seen a ghost, cryptid, or any sort of UFO ookily spookily stuff? Because we are in the spooky season. Have I? No. Yeah. How about any fun like stories? Like my grandparents' farmhouse well, was like haunted. I will tell you, I will tell you this. When I was back when I was uh 17, 18, I was a camp counselor in Wapaka, Wisconsin. 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 I lived in Wisconsin for a hot minute. Now, where were you in Wisconsin? Uh, Wapan was mostly where I spent, where what, I was what at. What was it? Wapan, it's like between Madison and Fond du Lac, kind of. Okay. okay. They're the prison town. There. That's where in, I lived. It was in Wapaka, which is like a, you know, it's like the home of uh, 6,000 mosquitoes and, you know, 5,000 flies and six fish. So yeah. it, that's so, where we, we grew up in towns like that. Yeah, it was nothing special, but uh we used to scare the shit out of these kids. We we just made up this this character and we named him Thump Drag. And uh oh, I love it. We, we, and when the kids would go to sleep, 
we would just we we kind of, you could kind of hear it all day. We would go, and we the would kids like, would shed a brick, and do we the would noise and like cabins going hide, hide. Thumb tracks coming, thumb tracks coming, and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, well, that's the fun of being a camp counselor is is you get to like mentally scar children like for well, fun. Well, yeah, but then one night we were all baked beyond belief. I mean, stoned out of our gourd. And uh, two of the camp counselors that we actually did not like and they knew we did not like them, they waited until we were way, way gone. And they kicked our door in and with a chainsaw. And oh, <laughs> the shit out of mm -hmm. us they, they said here's your here's your fucking thumb drag i love <laughs> it but that so that's like the scariest thing ever but no i've never seen any ghosts or or anything like that we Not actually like that. just watched the texas chainsaw massacre for one of our yeah. halloween episodes the original yeah. the original you know, yeah you know i gotta tell you one of the best reboots ever was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I think it was '98 with Jessica Biel. Yep. And, uh, oh, I don't know if I remember that one, Johnny. You gonna? What do you think, Johnny? What's the guy's it's... name? Is it early? Oh, he he was the 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 sergeant from um, Officer and a Gentleman. Or no, uh, God damn it! I can't. Oh, remember. see now this is Ar where I'm supposed Arlie to pull Emery? out my super. Yeah, that's it. That's it. What's the name? Early. Arlie Emery, I think. Arlie Emery, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. He, he was. He was the. Too. He was the drill sergeant in um. Uh, oh. the Vietnam movie. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Uh, I am Matthew, in a world Matthew of shit. Bodine. Oh, What's Full up? Metal Jacket. Yeah, Full Metal. Full metal. Jacket. There it is. We'll yeah. get yeah. there. We'll get yes. there eventually. <laughs> he shoots. She scored point. There's a point. Point for me. Thank you. Point. Thank you. <laughs> film sure. school. I, yeah, there we that, go. That, if you haven't seen it, that's a really good reboot. Um, yes. I mean, they, they, the story is a little different, but it's a really good movie. That was I, um that I that one I think captured the original just because it was it was still eerie, and it was just I don't know it was put together in a way to just make it really really creepy yeah. as an experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They did a good job on them. I mean, I I love horror movies, but I like those horror movies that most people don't know. Yeah. I like horror movies that are bad. That are oh, like. Well, I got a really shitty one for you that you got to see. <laughs> see have you have you watched uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? No, no. I have not. But I'm oh, gonna have to find it. Fucking horrible. <laughs> I I like I love the ones that are like we also just watched uh Willie's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Is it? Oh good? my! It is, is it like it's, it's a great it's movie. It's yeah. so I've never seen bad done so well. It yeah. was just fantastic, and bless whoever got Nick Cage in on that. I really want to <laughs> yeah. see that that new one. It's out Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. Okay, so my sister was mentioning that. What's this? I don't. I don't think I've seen. I gotta watch the trailer for that. Is that it's related like they get to trapped in something like a Chuck E. Cheese and the robots come alive or something like that? Yeah, it's basically it's... the same storyline. It's just a different, different um, uh, cast. I think. Is yeah. it like supposed to be a sequel sort of thing or like a play off of it? Probably, yeah. yeah. Like the it's same. definitely the same, like the same thing. You know what I mean? I should look that up. Well, like if like it's the, the same production, you like the production people or whatever. If it's the same group yeah. that made the Willy's Wonderland. Did you did yeah. you hear of did did you see or hear about the uh, the banana splits horror movie? No, <laughs> no, I'm I'm totally serious. it's a real movie. Oh uh -uh, no, I yeah, believe it. I mean, yeah. I, I've seen yeah, some I believe weird the banana splits. All the characters become maniacal killers. Uh-oh. Fabulous. oh fabulously I thought there was... bad. Fabulously bad. I like yeah. fabulously bad. I also oh, yeah. love monster movies. So yeah. let's let's do that. Favorite like monster movie that you would consider like a monster movie. Now are we talking gigantic Godzilla monsters or are we talking any kind of monster that you enjoy? Like I would you know, Jaws well, like, I would say is a monster movie. You like can go Jason... the animal. Is Jason Voorhees a monster? That's not a monster. 
I would say you can say that's a monster movie. It's kind of like supernatural. I guess I usually yeah. think more like, what am I trying to think of? Like, like monster monsters is as in like a Bigfoot or like yeah. uh, one of my favorites that's really bad is called Grabbers. And it's this okay. movie about uh, the it's on a Scottish island that's like isolated. And there's this like sea creature alien monster that comes and starts eating people. And the only mm-hmm. way to get it to not eat you is to be drunk. Nice. So they okay. all like hold themselves up <laughs> in a bar and get wasted to like not get eaten, but also figure out how to like defeat the monster, right? Okay. Good one. Good one. Like, so like that's like, when I, when I go for the monster movies, like the kind of weird. Well, I'm gonna go way way back on this because I think it's one of the most clever monsters ever. Okay. Did you ever see a movie called The Stuff? I think I know what you're talking about. It's like I it starts. I think I might have started watching it at one point, and it doesn't it start in like winter time. It it like it in the started, opening scene. Do you remember the movie The Blob? How like a meteor hits and a guy walks over, and all of a sudden the blob grabs his hand. You remember that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So so this guy he sees something. He walks over and he sees this pink stuff coming out of the ground. Right. So. Like anybody would, he decides to taste it. Right, yeah, because that's what you do. It, right? right. So hundred percent. So it turned it it and it tastes really good apparently because he can't stop eating it. So <laughs> uh he's gonna make a million dollars. He starts selling it and bottling it as like yogurt, right? And they call it the stuff. Oh my god, that's, that's amazing! The, the, movie. the movie is the stuff. That's and just such stuff, a great premise already. I find random pink goo in the in the outdoors, <laughs> and I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna sell yeah, it to it, people. It's right. man eating yogurt, and it eats them from the inside out. It's just fantastic. That's fun. Yeah, that's are there really clever monster? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Is there like, or do they have the really awesome like? terrible old graphics of like people melting from the inside sort of you know it, it, it is it's like but but they did like a really good job and you know who stars and, and i'm not i'm never gonna remember his name either of you guys ever watch law and order oh yeah. yeah do you remember the original law and order the original lawyer i um, cannot I remember think- his name He's, oh, I think I'm he's like, you, you I know I'm trying to look it up because I'm <laughs> like, yourselves. well, I mean, say as far as like monster, like monster movies, my favorite monster movie is probably Cloverfield. Great movie. Like, oh, just yeah. the aspect of what the fuck is going the on. You know what I mean? I just love that. Like, what is going on kind of thing. I love being like out of the know. In a movie, it's great. Do you okay? So, like, do you like the? Also, sorry, I did look it up. We've got is it uh, Paul Sorvino? No, like no, it's the lawyer. I'm trying to it wasn't one of the Scott, Scott Bloom. Is that who I'm thinking of? And no. then Michael Moriarty. That's it, Michael Moriarty. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. sorry, now I lost it. Johnny did was you, talking about you, which one. Did you like the the second Cloverfield? <laughs> oh, Cloverfield. Yeah. I thought the second one was great. Like, um, except the ending. Yeah, the ending. But like, just the um, the aspect of the bunker, kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was it was a cool play on it because so like you, you had the the chaos of it coming out of the sea and all that stuff. Uh, and now you have them in a bunker. You know what I mean? I like that John, idea. Jonathan Goodman, or John Goodman. Oh my Yo. god, he was such a freaking. Mm-hmm. John Goodman's in that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh Dude, my god! Is, Why have I not oh, watched it? I love John Goodman. Oh, he was great. He's, he's oh so god. good at it. Walter is my spirit ass, animal. The third one was not good at all. I haven't seen the third one. It don't even bother. Yeah, I was gonna say. Usually, when they make a third, it's. Meh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I think those ones like the Cloverfield and kind of like the Blair Witch. I don't know if I. Maybe I should rewatch them. I remember at the time being like not enjoying the like someone running with their camera aspect of it. Yeah, like the POV. Yeah. I I loved Blair Witch because, like I was saying, it brought me back to when I was like a camp counselor, you know, because we had all those woods in Wisconsin. And 
it, it just brought me back there. And then, the, I mean, the end of Blair Witch, oh, my God, mm-hmm. that scared the shit out of me. I mm-hmm. thought that was so great. Plus, I was really high. <laughs> well, sure. and so that probably enhanced it a little bit. Oh, well, it made it great. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I... Uh, have you ever seen the um the two alternate endings? No. They have I I watched a little documentary on it and I guess they had an alternate end, ending where he was like almost crucified, like strung up on something. Okay. And then they, they just didn't use it, I guess. There's a lot of unused footage in the Blair Witch. I get like that That's project or whatever. Well, and see, I guess they I... would uh, like most of the uh most of the scenes that they would like like when they're in the tent and they're hearing stuff. Yeah. I guess most of the time they didn't know anything about that. It was the crew and they were instructed to run around the woods and make weird noises and stuff to get like actual reactions. And actually I thought that scare was, them. That's, cool. that's super interesting. I did not yeah. know those things. I yep. Now I kind of want to rewatch it. And because yeah. that really interests me, the idea of sort of like, because it was a bit of an indie project kind of right like just the idea that they kind of put it together Mm -hmm. and i don't you know before before youtube was a thing and everybody does it now right like yeah just kind of going out there and doing a thing and having a a general idea and just having it come out so well and like good for them well well, one thing in that documentary one thing in that oh sorry one thing in that documentary um they said as well is when they come up on that house at the end I guess that was the first time that cast has ever seen that house. They didn't show it to them ahead of time. And I think they almost let it let them find it organically. Like they let them find it as just wandering. And I guess So how like when how were... traumatized like in real life for real oh, was yeah. the cast? They they said that they were like they would keep them up at night too. So a lot of that aggravation was real. Like like a lot of the acting when they were pissed off at each other and stuff because they would fuck with them. At night, yeah. they run across their tent. You know I mean, that almost sounds like that. Uh, what is that prison experiment, whatever that they did with the college kids? Yeah, that, that went so badly wrong. Yo, well, when wow. it's almost like, yeah, it's weird. When the kid in the movie goes, Fine, fine, I threw away the fucking map. Yo, you could yeah, tell, you like I mean, you could tell that guy was just like, I mean, he 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 was exhausted. That guy, I mean, he just yo. looked. Mm-hmm. He, just, he looked that... like death warmed over. He, he just looked terrible. <laughs> You're right. That and is interesting. Would, yeah, they would like, I guess, like, I don't know. In the documentary, they have a lot of like interesting, like, plays on the uh, the Blair Witch symbol, like that the person made out of the sticks and stuff. They had like three different symbols or whatever that they were using. It's a really interesting documentary. It was on YouTube. It's some, one of those on YouTube that explains like everything in the movie. It's weird. Johnny will not really be surprised good. by this at all, but um, I actually <laughs> I made some of those like Blair Witch stick things. <laughs> Who like, didn't? <laughs> no, like when I bought this house that I'm currently living in and had them oh. hanging in my trees in the back as an adult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember I roll, them, you know. Yeah, I remember Maybe making them like really a kid. <laughs> I have Johnny knows I'm kind of a little bit of a, a witchy lady. I like my weirdness yeah. and uh, you know, I like the idea of children being afraid to like knock on my door. Like that's yeah, I, the witch's house. I still bring up I I go to a music festival in Sioux Falls every year. And I stay at her, I stay at her house and I watched basically kids being walked to school and they were looking at the looking at her house and pointing at it because there was a dog in the window and just watching parents just come on, let's go. <laughs> just pull their like, kids to the other side of the street. 100%, like that's the Blair Witch house right there. I, it, yeah, no, I wanted to put a <laughs> Jolly Roger flag out on in the front of the house when Aisha was living here because she had one. And she's like, you can't put that outside. People are going to hate it. <laughs> so <was> freaking out. <laughs> That's why you put it out there. Exactly, because it's fun. Like, let them get upset. Ooh. It's kind of funny. I don't live Absolutely. here to appease the masses. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I love so- it. So you're a comedian in Chicago at the moment, or no? I'm I'm actually in Dallas now. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, I I'm from Chicago. I grew up in Chicago. Okay. And then I uh I went to Arizona State for college. Okay. And, uh, so that was seven great years. 
and uh, <laughs> fun times. And then I had a I had a radio show in uh, Arizona for a while. Oh, and, cool! Uh, Where in Arizona were you at? Uh, it it's a it's a little place called Coolidge, uh, Casa Grande. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, it, it wasn't so great. Our our uh, main demographic was the Pinal County Prison. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, the landscape. Yeah, they got, got a lot of interesting fan mail. I was going to say, <laughs> hey, you know, we talked about that, actually, me and John, at one point, uh, that we thought it would be kind of interesting if we could, like, write letters to, like, people in prison for awful things and just kind of, like, see if they write back. Yeah, well, just kind of like... write letters to people telling them you're in prison and see how they react. That could yeah. be fun too. Can do that too. I'm also a, in yeah. prison. Can we be pen pals? <laughs> there you go. I mean, except for the whole like, you know, where the mail goes. I got I got a few proposals actually. So they they have like that whole show now, that love after lockup or whatever. I don't yeah. I haven't watched it, but I'm aware of it. And it's like oh god, that, is, a... that is really very interesting. Yeah. And there's well, a lot right. of interesting reality TV. do you guys do you watch reality kind of tv shows sure yeah i i don't really i'm more of like i don't know like i love what we do in the shadows that one's a, you know, oh. the, the vampire one yeah yep. I, I haven't started that. um i haven't, I haven't started, started the second the season, season of our flag I know. Death. oh right. our flag means death yeah that one's yeah. got that's the same writer right what's his name again i never say his name right which one? Oh, names. The guy that's no, he's so he's in the original movie, What We Do in the Shadows, and he wrote it. Yeah. He oh, directed okay. Iron Man. Yeah, you um you guys are talking about this show, right? Yeah, but what's his name? Okay. The director guy who is also okay. acting it. Put a gun to my head, I couldn't tell you. Oh, I can't <laughs> yeah, remember. I, I never it. well, I never say his name right either. Yeah. I just but love Laszlo. Me. He's my favorite. Matt yeah. Berry. Oh, my God. Matt Berry is my favorite. I <laughs> love him so much. And he's actually really interesting, too. He's a musician. And he, like, always, he's always, like, challenging himself to learn weird new instruments. And, like, he'll build kind of, like, an album off of that instrument, that, like, weird instrument he learned to play. Like, mm -hmm. and he's got some really cool music. But I'd it's... give some thought to what you were saying if I didn't think you were such a twit. <laughs> I just, I know. I love, I saw some meme on Instagram that had like Laszlo, Moira Rose from Schitt's Creek, and Daniel Craig as like from the Knives Out series. And yeah. it was like, I want to lock these three in a room until they come up with an entirely <laughs> new English accent. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> please do. Can you imagine the way they would talk? I love it. Oh, man. Yeah. No, I love what we do in the shadows, though. And I have, I yep. like, I haven't started. I don't, do they have, is the most recent season out yet? I Which one? So, see, I get, I'm so behind on this stuff because my wife, she, she likes all this reality TV. You so, got to keep up with the Kardashians instead? Well, well, no, not, no, it's, 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 it's mainly, well, right now it's the Golden Bachelor. Which is <laughs> I know what it is. Yep. So fucking horrible. You cannot I don't if know you've what not this is. seen it. Watch it once because yeah. you'll die laughing. I mean, you got these 65 year old, 70 year old women trying to act like they're 25 years old. And yeah. it's so cringeworthy that it is, this is the, okay. They legit are doing a like the golden girls bachelor essentially, yeah. like yeah, the the he's like seventy, and like all the women are between like fifty and fifty five. Yeah, or sixty five. Oh but lord, it, but it's... I man, listen, I get it. The dating world is hard, but like, son of a bitch, yeah. if I get to that point, and I I'm just gonna give it up, man. Like, but it's like what then the they make a show about? You know what I mean? It's like, well, then make... there's also uh, there's the Bachelor in. I don't know if it's called The Bachelor in Paradise. It, anyway, it's a bunch of people who were on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette who were big time losers and they put them all on a beach and it's okay. it's just like a giant fuck fest. Everybody's just bopping yeah. each other 
and they're all supposed to eventually hook up and get married to somebody. So what the- that. And then there's Survivor. Got to watch that. Uh, I John, watch Survivor. The- I do like Survivor. Survivor's good. I, yeah, I watched Survivor's it since I was a good. kid, so and, I got to watch it. And then there's and then uh, yeah, The Voice. Have you ever watched The Voice? I'm aware of it. it that one's got I'm, Christina I, I, Aguilera. I don't watch it, but yeah, I know what it is. It's 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 a fun show to watch on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's probably sure. why I don't watch it. I'm, I, you know, those reality shows for me are just like, there's no. too much drama on purpose, yeah. and I'm just like, no, I can't deal with it. Like, I just prefer I to watch football. So, yeah, I'll just watch football on my phone while we're watching. <laughs> yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, there you go. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm not super. I'm not super into sports either. But you know, okay, so. Let's go then to, sorry, I think we missed, I don't know. Johnny, did you say what your favorite monster movie was? I was going to yes, shift this back into spooky movies. Sorry. Cloverfield. Monster. Cloverfield, I, I mean, really, any of the, both of the Cloverfields I thought were great. And they were just different, okay. different outlooks. But how about like ghosty movie then? Hmm. Sorry, we're very stream of consciousness on our podcast and we kind of yeah, bounced kinda... around a lot. A I lot. tell her it's like I tell her it's like a Tesla going 200 miles an hour on the highway, and then all of a sudden you hit a pothole and you're flipping down the road. Hard left turn. Yeah, we uh, do that a lot. The Tesla's on fire. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Ghost movie. Uh, you know what is a fun ghost movie, but it's not really a ghost movie. Ghosts of Mars. Remember that movie? Yeah, that was weird though. If I remember that it. movie being very confusing. It was like ghosts take over people's bodies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know the body snatchers? No, it was. No, um, it was like they were kind of West possessed. It was. I remember yeah. that being a very confusing movie. Like I think it was maybe made to be a bit more artsy. Like yeah, know. it's about it's about these miners on like Mars. And they, they're mining through a mountain, and they hit something, and it releases a bunch of like ghosts or spirits or something like that. And then they take over bodies, and basically the spirit will take. It's basically just a shell of the spirit now. Like, and they yeah. basically wage war on the miners. Like they just hunt them down and stuff like that. I think, I mean, it's. I think it has um, is it Ice Cube. As one of the actors, I think so. Yeah. So it's, I, I mean, it's like it's. It was that realm like when he was kind of acting and it's one of the girl i can't remember her name but she's recognizable like, i gotta look it up here. You'll, you'll, she's been in a few things but yeah oh, ghosts of mars was just a oh. fun one but like i don't know ghost movies in general i i don't know i gotta go with I, guess uh, I gotta go with ghost of the theme park that's the uh oh, i don't know that one that's the I don't movie know that kiss, one. kiss starred in it was kiss it was first called Kiss Meets the Phantom, and then it turned into Kiss and the Ghost of the Theme Park. How do I not okay. know this? Dad was the biggest, like, my dad was the biggest, like, Kiss fan ever. Right. How do I not know about this? What? I must go find it. I mean, I think I heard something about it at one point, but my yeah. Just... Mug. Oh, there very nice. I dig it. Yeah. Well, I saw in one of the uh, podcast clips that you have, you have a big uh, Kiss poster in the background, too. Do I? Oh, you you did on that little clip on YouTube of the podcast that you don't like Kevin Bacon very much. <laughs> oh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, wow. You don't love Kevin anybody Bacon? Anybody saw that. Not, you're not well, he, um, they were talking about, I don't know, it, it, they were talking about uh, Kevin Bacon films and um, I believe... Um, yeah, I got into it with him. Yeah. Because he would, cause the, the, the whole thing was about Name a uh, you had a name a uh, a remake that was better than the original. Okay. And they just they just they didn't get the joke, man. They just they, didn't, they just didn't <laughs> yeah. get the joke. Listen, not and everybody told, gets the joke. It it happens. Well, I, yeah. They they said name a movie that was that the remake was better than the original. So I said Footloose. 
And, <laughs> and he said, what? And I said, yeah, Kevin Bacon's a hack, man. <laughs> the remake of Footloose was way better than the original. And the oh guy got like, mad it. and he got like <laughs> offended. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. dude, what do you like? You, you date Kevin Bacon? What's the matter? Yeah. I saw him breathe like really heavy, like like it affected him very deeply. <laughs> yeah, he was like, wow, really like mad. wow, he, he, he was like really mad. He, and yeah, he nice to... <laughs> you shot through the heart, man. With that, maybe Footloose is like a really big sentimental movie to him or something. Right. I don't even remember the name of the actor from the re from the remake, but I just started yeah. making up shit about him and telling him how great he was. And, I love it. And he's bringing up Kevin Bacon movies, and I'm going, nope, never saw it. Nope, don't yeah. know. It. Nope, yeah, I don't think anyone ever saw it. Tremors? Well then, no. Well then, like, kind of when you were you were saying that Animal House isn't that great of a movie too, I could kind of, I I figured you were just fucking with him, and they took yeah. it like so serious. Yeah, he just he didn't get the joke, man. No, I mean, listen, you know. <laughs> Not everybody can can learn to take life a little less seriously, I guess. There's but always going to be somebody who's going to get upset. I can appreciate that to find that they're not getting it and just roll with it. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got to appreciate it. That would be a Johnny uh, thing to do. Johnny would I'd absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's like my personality kind. I'll fuck with you. I'll, I'll give you rope. Like, like, I'll give you rope like a motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm glad somebody saw that. That's neat. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do. You know, we try to do a little bit of research on the on the one guest we've had on that we don't actually like <laughs> at, that we didn't grow up with in a house. Well, I mean, when I hear comedian, I'm I'll listen to anyone. You know what I mean? Like, I love oh comedy. for sure. Uh, we're big comedy fans, big stand up yeah. comedy fans, and like you know, I. Someday I am going to meet Burt Kreischer. I tell you right now. Yeah, right. I'll tell you my one claim to fame. All right. Is that George Lopez stole a joke from me. <laughs> now, oh. I, I, From what I understand, he's like notorious for stealing jokes. Oh, see, I thought you were being funny when you said that because he is. No, I'm. I'm totally no, serious. Something, I think there's something I'm to totally it. I'm totally yeah. serious. Yeah, no, like I have like. I have heard that is it George Lopez and was it Carlos Mencia? I think got some in trouble for well, the, but the joke, my joke. Now this goes back, and this may Haley, this may be before your time. I don't know if you even remember this, but uh, Taco Bell, their whole campaign was run for the border, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I was it's not. I appreciate that. you making the the attempt that it's before my time, but like, no, I remember that. Okay, all right. <laughs> so thank you for thank you for like de aging me. I usually age myself, so I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, so the so the so I said the joke was, you know, Taco Bell has this new campaign and it's run for the border, and I said, but you know, in Mexico there's Taco Bell, so. I guess their com campaign is stay here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I love it. And uh, I it, it okay. couldn't have been like a year later. Uh, my friend, John Campanera, he was playing at the uh, improv and it was a, it was like a, a dual gig and George Lopez was there and I heard him do the joke and I, <laughs> I was so pissed off. Yeah, I was so angry, and then yeah, after so the show, like you gotta John wonder the John way. said, "Man, he's notorious for that shit." Yeah, I have heard that. Well, like a Taco Bell joke that I remember. Do you know? Are you familiar with Beth uh, Beth Stelling? I think her name is who the, com Beth is the comedian. I don't yeah, know. I tell I told Haley this joke. I she has a joke where it's like sometimes you don't want Taco Bell, but you really want diarrhea. <laughs> oh that was the funniest taco bell joke oh, it's, so, it's pretty good if you're constipated it you know pepto bismol doesn't guard. taste yeah <laughs> you know i love it pepto bismol just, doesn't taste as good as a taco from taco bell i get it i just yeah. wrote it i just wrote an article for a uh, media pub and the article was the 10 best ways to get out of work if you're not sick but you just want to get out of work so I named the top 10 and the number one reason is 
just say diarrhea. <laughs> Yo. I love it. If you say diarrhea, that gets you out of anything. Well, I mean, who wants you to come to work with diarrhea? <laughs> you know. I mean, who wants you to? Yeah, nobody wants to have that situation while they're at work. Well, Hold yeah, up. one bump on a forklift and clean up on aisle three. Exactly. Uh, there you go. I was going to say, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny and I have had that conversation because he, he's been on a construction site. But I guarantee oh, you yeah. somewhere on the web, that's a fetish. Oh, everything <laughs> is. Absolutely everything is. Just like, I have, in there, like, I've said everywhere. that before. I. Like Something, anything that you think of, there has to be somebody out there likes it. Like yeah. I have a oh, defibrillator yeah. implant and I'm like, if it goes off and I'm doing stuff, you're going to feel it. Yeah. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah. you know, somebody's probably into that though. And like, yeah. auto, like auto erotic electrocution must be like a bitch of a fetish to have. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. Like, <laughs> point. Good job. You know, like, <laughs> what do you got that car battery on next to your bed for? Don't worry about right? it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some weird shit out there for real. There right. got to be. I tell you, I just love fucking oranges. Right? I mean, somebody does, though. Somebody <laughs> loves fucking oranges. And somebody, like, there's probably a website forum somewhere where they all oh, compare, yeah. like, what the best fruit to fuck mm -hmm. is. Right, like oh, that. God. Probably, if it doesn't exist, can we copyright that? Can we get that rolling? <laughs> like, can well, we take is... can we take that away from OnlyFans and and monetize that for ourselves? Yeah. How do we get that going? Oh, well, I was get listening to on that right away. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I was listening to a Cat podcast, man. a podcast one time, and there was a lady like that. She sold all she did for a living, and she made hundreds of thousands of dollars off this. Basically, just a fetish, fetish er. She would, you could either buy a booty pop or a booty pop. You could guess what she does with the pop, you know, and but then like, she, she will put it in a plastic bag and send it to you in the mail. And I, <laughs> that can't I left, be hygienic though. Like, you know, I just was, kind of feel like that's got to, I don't know if that's good for you, whatever. I mean, if she's well, making money, she can afford health insurance for whatever. The fact that there was a website dedicated to this made me so happy. No, it was just, this is. This like is to the, her specifically oh, or to just that, oh, yeah. and that? And that there's enough just perverts out there that she's making hundreds of thousands of dollars sending obstacles. Like, it's sending good for stuff her. Through. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She found her lane. I mean, for real though, like if what, you find it and you can stay in it, good for you. What do you think is the most bizarre fetish you could think of that you'd probably find on the web? That you would find on the web? I mean, on listen, the web? Oh, I listened to the last podcast. Just any any fetish. What, what do you like, think is the? Weird I listen. I listened to the last post? podcast on the left, and I have I have heard the. Uh, like dark web stories they tell about like yeah. the cannibalism fetishes that like they want to be eaten or That's have right. parts of yeah. them eaten and they have like I, I I love how they tell the stories and they're always like nobody's ever actually asking for that it's always an undercover cop like, don't believe yeah. it. Like, you well, know, because that's of, kind of how these people got caught, sort of. In one mm -hmm. of the stories I remember, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pro cannibalism a little bit. <laughs> right. I mean, you big Jeffrey Dahmer fan? No, 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 not, not with like. I, I'm not saying kill people. I'm just like, you know, when when Aunt Gertrude dies, don't, don't waste the meat. Burial, just yeah, have a buffet. You know. Yeah. Right. I have uh that's uh I've actually this is this is a true thing. I have it written into my uh little agreement that I gave to Aisha. She is the executor of my whatever. She did it for college because she was like going to school for paralegal. She's like, you need to write your last wishes stuff, a document oh, so that I can and get it notarized so that I can so I did. And uh Johnny, you will be required to roast marshmallows on my burning body on my giant funeral pyre. Oh. Uh, and, and you Done. you are going to have to actually eat them and make s'mores. It is a requirement. I don't care how uncomfortable everyone is with roasting marshmallows well, on I my mean, burning flesh. You have say to say no it. more. I'm down for a s'more anytime. <laughs> say no more. I love it. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, in my in my will, I'm um dedicating my body to the uh the NOA uh when I die. 
What's that? Which one's for that? <laughs> Necrophiliacs of America. <laughs> oh, well, how very generous of right. you. I mean, seriously, just, I mean, fuck my ass, my nose, my, right. my mouth. I don't, I'm dead. What Here's the question. Let me, let me ask this question because this is a thought that I've had, you know, in my sort of, you know, lit states. If, okay, vampires, right, are undead, which means mm-hmm. they did die. So uh-huh. if a regular human alive person fucks a vampire, like, are we getting into necrophilia territory? Hmm. Like, where's yeah, the line I think there? That, that's necrophilia with feedback, actually. See, but that's my whole thing. Like, but the vampire can give consent. <laughs> so, like, you know. Is but in it, some is cases, it... well, necro- I mean, in some cases, necrophilia <laughs> is illegal. But, but if you fuck a vampire, I would think that'd be more of a misdemeanor. It's a the lower level yeah. crime. Okay. Yeah. I guess, like I'm with yeah. it. I get right. it. You know, maybe 30 days in the clink. Something. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That sounds reasonable. Johnny, Johnny was well, going to well, be but a wait, judge. Well, wait, wait. If you fuck a werewolf. That's okay. That no, listen. Uh, this is my question too, because Bigfoot erotica is like a big fucking shit thing. People are into, and I cannot understand whatever, but isn't that bestiality? Cause I'm going to say werewolf. Are you, again, you know, you kind of think like what we do in the shadows, like whatever, if you're all in the mystical world, do whatever you do, have your orgies, you know, I think it's a matter of which werewolf you're talking about, because like the modern werewolves are like wolves. But if you go back, you know, the original wolf man. Oh, yeah. Lon Chaney Jr. With a lot of hair. It's that is more of like, yeah, the the half man half dog kind of thing not yeah but now modern werewolves are more like in the shapeshifter category yeah, yeah they're just wolves <laughs> yeah. right and then while you're doing it it changes back and forth from Benicio del Toro to a werewolf so that's got to be really confusing on the yeah. necrophilia <laughs> thing though okay, no, I love it. no I loved it <laughs> I'm like because because it's true though yep on, on the necrophiliac thing, if you fuck Frankenstein's monster, that's probably worse than fucking the vampire. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say too, monster. Fr- like, see, I think of young. I think of young Frankenstein, yeah. and then I think of like <laughs> you know Peter Boyle and young Frankenstein being like once he's got like the intelligence intellect thing going. Oh. Yeah, when he's banging Madeline Kahn at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Man, is she the best ever or what? Now oh, I have God. to watch Blazing Saddles. Is she the... She's a treasure. Oh, I love Good her. Eggs. Right. But I was going to say, like, back to, like, the vampire thing, depending on which vampire movie you look at, it could be necrophilia and bestiality. This is yeah, true. Bram, yeah, Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker, yep. Stoker? Stoker? Stoker. Yeah, because yeah. in that... The vampire also takes the shape of a wolf. Yeah. It there. I I don't know if we've talked about this one, Johnny, but Jack the Netflix Dracula series. Um, it's a, it's like a mini series, basically. Yeah, it's like There's four only, episodes. Yeah. Okay. And he does like he turns into a wolf or like is uh, maybe wearing a wolf's skin, kind of more like I don't know. He was almost kind of shape shifty okay. too. It's like, funny because he's so dumb. I really liked that oh, whole he, series. Like, it was, it was a very great. interesting yeah. take on Dracula. It was great, but he's so dumb. Like, yeah. he just, he knows from movies that he's not supposed to be out in the light. But then <laughs> the nun tells him, you could go out in the light. And he goes out in the light. He's like, oh, fuck, this is cool. You know? <laughs> I know, but I really did like the sort of like the that the nun was Van Helsing and that it was put together like the I like that it followed it kind of the thread of her cleverness. Like yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Oh hey, hey, so getting back in the Halloween thing, you said Van Helsing. Yeah. Yep. Did you like the Van Helsing movie with uh Hugh Jackman? I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that one, I don't think. Oh, I thought the, I thought the movie was entertaining, but 
I thought the accents were atrocious. Horrible. <laughs> the accents were enough to turn it off, I thought. It was bad. Oh, Kate man. Beckinsale doing like a Transylvanian accent is the ugh, it's terrible. so good. It's I just think... it's it's awful. The guy that played Igor stole the movie. That guy was so funny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He, he was like, "Why do you, why do you torment that beast?" He just goes, "It's what I do. <laughs> it's what I do." <laughs> I love it. I but love that worst... when you. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I was no, gonna say the, the worst accent in that movie though is the guy that actually plays the like the main Dracula dude. I oh. can't remember what's his. Name. It's it's so fucking bad. Yeah, he's really bad. He, yeah, that guy is really bad. That was a bad I mean... Dracula. I can't talk because I can't do accents, but I do think like I do think it would be that would be a fun thing to practice, like learn learn an accent. Yeah. I can't well, just it's, like, fun. it's the accent that you would expect, like the Dracula with the cape doing this shit. Yeah. Oh know, yeah, about like oh, Bella Lugosi oh, kind oh, of. Hey, oh, come oh, to suck your yeah. blood. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like just hammed up really bad. It sounded like the count right. from Sesame Street. Pretty much. Oh my right. god. I was gonna say, like, that makes me think much. of um, like that Johnny and I were going to watch that one and talk about it because it's my favorite on Halloween um, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. meet Frankenstein oh that's awesome yeah that scene like oh Johnny we got to watch it and you got to watch it because the, the scene where they're at, like in the, the, the case the Dracula's coffin case has just come in and he's in there reading the stuff with the ca- oh my god yeah. I yeah. love that one so great so yeah. good but the weird thing about that one was Boris Karloff didn't play Frankenstein. No, um, I Lon can't. Ch- no, I no, can't. Lon- I hold. See, now you're gonna confuse me, and I gotta remember all Bella my Gossi stuff again. Played Dracula because it's Lon Chaney Jr. Lon as Chaney Wolfman. Jr. played the Wolfman, right? And I don't know who played Frankenstein, but it was not Bella. It was not Boris Karloff. It was Herman, I can't, not Herman. I Monk. can't remember why my brain is trying to like again go back to like go back to film school. Glenn Strange, mm-hmm. there he is. Glenn Strange, there is. okay, there he is. Yep. Hey, did you guys. There was a reason. Was but not Bell. Um, not Bella Lugosi. Go back to Frankenstein. The other Frankenstein we're Boris talking Karlov. about. Boris Karlov. I can't. Was there a reason he wasn't in that? movie as i can't remember could they not get him or had he already well after the the only other frankenstein he ever played was in the bride of frankenstein which was the sequel to frankenstein yeah he never never played frankenstein again but it was like the i just he was such a i don't know even then he was more known for that for being frankenstein you know and then after that he did the mummy (laughs) yeah yeah but i don't know he, he only did Frankenstein twice. Nothing. We just recently watched um, 30 Days of Night. What are uh, your thoughts on that movie? Good movie. Yeah. I, I really like I really like how they the vampires have their own language. Yep. They did a good job with that. Yeah. No, it was it's interesting a, um, and it like but I, I was for a, for a while while I was watching it I was like I am so confused. Like what is going on? Because they had it was like a slow build, and then all of a sudden you have like yeah. the big massacre that just happens, mm-hmm. and I I was just like what? And then all of a sudden everybody is at the right. coffee shop or whatever, and yep. moving, I'm like, dude, you're cutting out a lot of information, but right. you kind of have to if you're going to fit thirty days into an hour. Or so, well, it's um it's interesting because they they play it out like they're just dis- as as you're discovering it, they're discovering. It, you know what I mean? And then yeah. um, on top of that, you you get to see the plan unfold. It's kind of it's kind of cool because they kill the dogs and then the power, the mm-hmm. power grid, you know, all this stuff to just put them in a spot where they can't defend themselves. It, it, I just think it's it's a it's super it a interesting, cool. like the concept yeah. and the pre- like once I got to the end of it and understood what was going on, I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. it was. It was cool because they they almost painted them as mindless beasts, mm-hmm. and on top of that, very intelligent. You know what I mean? Well, like, and the the, the played cult, off a of boat kind of the cult leader aspect of like the the leader vampire dude was very yep. like 
gave you extra icky feels. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it was scary. Right. No, it was well done. I, I, Johnny and I talked about it and I came around and I was like, you know what? I do appreciate like from a film, right. just putting things together standpoint, mm-hmm. the, the sound elements and the imagery elements. And like, I, I get what they were doing. You know, I appreciate how they put yeah. it together. Are you guys Rob Zombie fans? I'm a fan. Yeah. I, I dig, I dig the music. I haven't, you know, I really haven't watched a lot of his movies. I know I saw his version of Halloween in the theaters and I don't remember it very well. I loved it. I loved his version of Halloween. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. I don't remember on that. Well, I've been seeing, um, did he come out with how many Halloween movies? I've seen the first two he came out with. He did two. Okay. Yeah. And I thought it um, it was great, except the ending. The ending wasn't very good. Yeah. And then he did a. Uh, I just recently watched. Now you say Rob Zombie. I just recently watched. Is it thirty two? Thirty one. Thirty one. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. That I don't was think I know that one. Movie. Bill Mosley, man. Bill Mosley is freaky, man. That guy. Yeah. Is, I love Bill Mosley. He's he's a weird dude. Yeah, right. yeah like I, Haley. It's it's kind of like it's a movie where it's kind of like a. Like a Halloween house of horror, kind of, but there's okay. serial killers in it. You know what I mean? Like that will kill oh. you. Yeah. Okay. It's, like, it's all clown. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like go to the next levels. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's more interesting. dangerous clowns. Mm-hmm. That's and, fun. And the yeah. uh, and you get points for every clown you kill or get by. No. And the goal is to yeah. get thirty one. Yeah, it's like. It's like really rich people put it on, and they pay yeah, these right. they pay these psychopaths to just come in and kill people that they release, basically. So on while we were talking about Frankenstein, the reason I brought up Rob Zombie was because he did re, uh, he did the Monsters, the movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have I don't think I've seen, seen that either. Huh. I have I not love, seen it. I love so, the Monsters. It's so campy. It's so great. <laughs> it's yeah. so fun. It it is just it is such a fun movie to watch. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to watch oh, that one. I yeah. love I saw, Campy yeah, is I, up my alley. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw some of the stills when they were making it of the people that all in makeup and stuff. It looks awesome. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, and I think I love uh, that when they do all the like makeup and prosthetics oh, yeah. and like Bill all that Mosley's kind of stuff. In it, and he plays Count Orlock. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's really good flick. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Yeah. I love that, it. We'll uh, have to check that one out. But if you have not yeah, seen sure. the House of a Thousand Corpses, I know oh, yeah, I have I've to because that. I love oh. the song and you like amazing. I know it's a classic. Plus Sid Haig. You remember Sid Haig? <laughs> oh. oh my god, he's so good. Right? Uh, well, um who's the the dude Sid um that Sid actor? He was in wasn't he in a a uh, playoff of Texas Chainsaw Massacre with like Matthew McConaughey, and um, yeah, well, it was yeah, it was a that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Yeah, yeah, it, it but was, it, but, it, but it didn't follow. Like uh-huh. it did. It was the one. Actually, Bill Mosley was in that one too. Yeah, John the guy kept scratching his head with the, uh, the wire hanger. hanger. Yeah, you're yeah, I up do not lighter. remember this one either. I'm over here trying to look it up. Like what? Saying, oh, the was, damn plate in yeah. my hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, it had that uh, just Matthew makes McConaughey. me think. Grab my strong hand. Yeah. <laughs> it had Matthew McConaughey in it, where he had a an electrical device on his knee, like a knee brace, but it was electrical. But he had to find remotes that work with it. So when he'd lose a remote, he would open this drawer that had like a thousand remotes in it, and he's just clicking on a bunch of shit. What? <laughs> okay. It was more of a comedic kind of. I mean, like, oh, okay, I dig it. Yeah. Like, there's got to be like twelve different Chainsaw Massacre movies. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah. But what yeah. I did not like was the last one that they did. Where it was like a continuation, oh, yeah. and they're in the those kids in the bus, and they're in the little ghost town. That was stupid. Yeah, did you I see that, Haley? Or no? no, I didn't. What I, I was yeah. just thinking when you said the comedy element, I was like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. That's oh yeah, That's oh I love, I love it. These college kids are just killing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> 
Like, just that's so great good. Movie. Oh, yeah. That's, that what is that blonde actor's movie. name? Oh, I can't. Like, that guy is great. He's yeah. in, um, God, he was in, like, Knight's Tale. He's such a great character actor. I well, love. The... Yeah, uh, yeah, that guy was in Knight's Tale. He was the, um, wasn't he, like, the, the, like, ringleader thing of, like, the, what they had no, going he, like was the like, he was like the helper of like heath ledger yeah yeah oh yeah he just r.i.p heath ledger the announcer. um did you, the, did you guys like uh the cabin in the woods yeah I, that was um the cabin in the woods where it's just they find that book in the basement or whatever it is that right, it's, it's like it's a business you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's basically like elevators. Yeah, <laughs> just coming yeah. up to it. It's a, yeah, the guy's like, man, I always wanted to see a merman. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, that's one of the funniest parts of that movie too, because like when good, the merman's good. coming for him when he's all dazed and he just sees the yeah. merman face and he's like, yeah, oh, that's fuck. Awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. great. You just did that so perfect. He just goes, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me think of like evil dead though when you say like a house in the woods oh, yeah. where they find the book you know it's like right. I just, my brain goes to like evil dead and well, i you know love how Bruce we were Campbell. talking about uh the third one when you do a part three. Oh yeah, yeah. army of darkness was a great movie yeah. i mean honestly mm-hmm. though in the evil dead franchise bruce campbell takes the cake uh, just for all of it. Like, if oh, it doesn't yeah. have Bruce Campbell in it, I'm kind of like, meh. I was so bummed that they uh, cut the, what was the series on Showtime or HBO? It was uh, Ash versus Evil Dead. Yeah, Ash, it was so yeah. great. I, Bruce Campbell can do no wrong in my eyes. I love Bruce <laughs> Campbell. I loved him in that spy show that was on um, Burn Notice that was on TV like years ago. Yeah. Like, was oh my gosh. Ash? Nash Bridges. Nash Bridges. The cowboy. Wasn't he the cowboy? Yep. Did yeah. he? Did he yeah. do a Nash Bridges for it? Oh my God. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah. I there was rumors once upon a time that Bruce Campbell they were gonna do, and this is a reboot that this is one of the few reboots that I would get behind that they were gonna do a reboot of the Rockford files and have Bruce Campbell be okay. Jim Rockford. And I was like, oh please. Oh, please do that. <laughs> and I still right. say, oh, please do that. I would so love to see Bruce Campbell as Jim Rockford. Yeah. Oh, please. Like, yeah. also, I am such a big, like, James Garner fan, too. So, like, love James yeah. Garner. But they never did. <laughs> what you got there? I can't. If you're playing something, I can't hear it. What you got? Yeah, I can't Rockford it. file. Oh, oh the, the, no, the. <laughs> I used to have that as like my text ringtone. That's my this... ring. It's my ringtone. I love oh, it. Nice. This is Jim Rockford. Oh yeah. my god, I love it. It's my ringtone. Nice. I love the Rockford Files, man. Like <laughs> Jim Rockford. Let yeah, me tell I, you. Wednesday nights. It used to be the Rockford Files, uh, followed by Quincy. Oh yeah, yeah. First, I <laughs> I'm kind of a big like detective shows fan too, just in general. Like I love all the like BBC detective shows that they like yeah. Midsummer Murders and all that stuff. Like very, I love those things. Not that that has anything to do with Halloween, but whatever. That's that's no. how we roll on our podcast. Yeah. But anyway, I do want to like we want to be respectful of your time, and we usually kind of keep this stuff to like you know roughly an hour. So like, do send us your links. We'll share them below. Um, okay. But before we go, do you have anything else that you want to plug? That like anything yeah, plug upcoming? everything again if you want. Yeah. Um, can't really plug it yet. I'm I'm working with someone right now. Um, we're in the process of uh, it's really in the infancy stage of uh, yeah. possibly doing a uh, uh, an online uh, uh, web uh, uh, sitcom. Um, okay. But it's That's really, cool. really in the infancy stage. Okay. So there's not much going on with that. Um, well, definitely you know, excited I, to I hear a... more about it, though. Keep us posted. Sure. What's that? Sure. Like, keep us posted on the progress. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That yeah. sounds yeah. fun. As, as it comes along, I'll I'll keep you guys up to date on that. Yeah, for sure. Um, MediaPub.live, if you haven't 
checked it out, please check it out. Okay. Um, I have two, three articles that are out there every week. Uh, and I'll make sure I get you guys the info. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Stuff from you. Um, you might like, I should probably send you, I have kind of a funny little, uh, for my fictional podcast, I did an episode that was like broadcasts from throughout the multiverse. Like, so I have some <laughs> yeah. kind of silly stuff in there about like earth is now being admitted to the galactic federation and they're arguing about what their zip code should be. Right. Okay. Yeah. So well, I got, I'm a, or, or go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, pretty much the only thing I got going on is we're just finishing up some music, me and my band. So, yeah, when that comes out or whatever, I'll let you listen to it for sure. Totally. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. We'll share all what, our what, stuff. What kind, what, kind of, what kind of music? It's uh, it's more like stoner rock. It's kind of in the realm of the way I explain it is it's kind of a, a like a slower, like Sabbathy kind of thing or even like a Queens of the Stone Age kind of vibe on some of the stuff you know well i know sabbath i'm not sure who queens of the stone age is. i'm not mm -hmm. older. okay yeah I'm not, uh, i would check out queens I'm, of the stone age uh, stuff like that um but yeah stoner rock just well, I'm there's a, um i'm as big a deadhead as you're ever gonna meet so okay well there sure. you go yeah i i told Haley about there's a guy on youtube called, that na his uh name is weedian and he does um compilation stuff by state and country of like the stuff that I play. So if that would be the best representation for sure. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sweet. for sure. Well, thank you all very much yeah. for listening and joining us on this episode. Right. Jill, thank you for joining us. For sure. I've, I've been Haley. And I've been Johnny. And I am the Jill. Ooh. And this has been Johnny. Johnny. Haley. Haley. Jill. The Jill. Day of Day fun. Of fun. Day of fun. Thanks for listening, y'all. Go check out all our links below. Support our shit, and we appreciate right. you. Peace. Later.